Now, who do they ask? Let me ask you if you were paying attention. The people who ask about Allah, do they ask Allah or do they ask the Prophet? They ask the Prophet. They ask the Prophet wasallam. So what you expect is, now hey, I'll say the English. If they ask you about me, then tell them, I'm near. But the ayah does not say tell them. Ayah does not say tell them. Here's what the ayah says. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ When they ask you about me, then I am near. Then I am near. What is missing? Then tell them. Ayah, فَقُلْ لَهُمْ إِنِّي قَرِيبٌ There's no فَقُلْ لَهُمْ There's no tell them. Why not? The people came to ask the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Somebody comes to ask the alim about Allah. Will Allah answer my dua? I have a lot of mistakes. I missed a lot of salat. Will Allah still answer my dua? Will Allah, will Allah put me in hellfire? He's asking the alim. In this case, he's asking Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Allah says, he puts the Rasul aside and he answers him directly. He starts talking to you and talking to me. He's not talking to Rasulullah anymore. He says, فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ I am near. I'm so near, I'll talk to you. I won't even tell the messenger to talk to you. I'll talk to you myself. That's the beauty of Qur'an. People came and asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Allah did not tell him, you go tell them. Allah said, no, no, I'll tell them myself. I am so near. You don't believe me? Why, and why did I say you don't believe me? He said, inni. Inna is used in Arabic, li izalat al shak. You know, al mukhatib mutaraddid, lahu raib. So if someone is in doubt, then you use inna. Allah is saying, don't you ever doubt that I am near. Why are you doubting that I am near? Why do you think I would go away from you? You turn your back on me, I don't turn my back on you. You turned your back on me. You disobeyed me. You stop loving me. I never stop loving you. You become distant. I stay near. And the word qareeb also. Qareeb is some sifa, which means I'm always near. The sentence actually means, certainly I am always near. Let my slaves know. Now, the other thing is, how many names does Allah have? 99. At least 99. At least 99. So many beautiful names of Allah. And the one, when Allah, and, some, and the messenger is told, when people ask you about me, when they ask the Prophet about Allah, then the most important thing you need to tell them is which name of Allah, or which description, that He is what? Near. That He is near. Why? Because when He is near, it's easier for you to talk to Him. When, you, when someone is far, you can't talk to them. When someone is near, you can talk to them. When someone is near, you can respect them. So if you're in school, and the teacher walks out of the classroom, the teacher walks out of the classroom, do you behave the same way or no? No. And don't lie, you're in the masjid, okay? <laughs> Go outside and lie. Hey, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> When the teacher is near, do you behave differently? You do, don't you? Now you're taking a test. The teacher walks by. He just walks by. Do you cover your exam a little more? You know? Just his shadow makes you like, oh, 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 oh my God. Especially if he puts his hand on your desk and he looks down at your paper and he goes, Malakul mm. Maut. Oh, I do that to my students because I really enjoy torturing them psychologically. <laughs> this is one of the great joys of teaching. You get to mess with students. Oh my God. Allah says, if my slaves ask you about me, tell them I am what? Near. When you know someone is near, you act differently. Because he's always near. فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ